At the turn of the 20th century, it was the railroads that opened up America's first national parks. To lure visitors to these faraway places, they marketed them as the ultimate travel destination. This is the moment you've been waiting for, the fabulous hurricane turn. Come on, all aboard! Among them, the Great Alaska Railroad forged its way north through Talkeetna on its way to Denali National Park. The signature adventure travels along a loop from Anchorage to Denali National Park and back, making a stop in Talkeetna. That's how people get to where they're going along the track, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, yesterday I explained it to a few folks that we're kind of like a bus. You know, you take a bus to get from point A to B or to your place of business or home, and instead of being a bus, we're a train, and we deliver people to the middle of the wilderness, and that's what we do. Handbrakes are off. We got an authority. Switches are lying. Let's go out on the main. I stopped by. They had two seats left. And I got to go on my first flight sing tour of Denali. Really? Man, I, I cannot put it to words. It's like more of an emotion. It's it's the coolest thing I've ever done. I was born and raised here in Alaska with the railroad for 20 years and if you ever get the chance to fly McKinley, do it because you would, even if it was $1,000, you'd walk away and say it was worth every penny. It's not $1,000, but if it was, you'd say, okay, it was worth it. Very cool experience. The tracks run along the boundaries of the park that brims with the railroad history. It's a 110 mile round trip through this remote wilderness where you can get off the train anywhere along the way to hike, fish, or get provisions to a remote cabin. And when civilization calls, stop the train with just a wave of a flag. It's truly the last flag stop in the country. Bye. The journey to Denali National Park begins in Talkeetna, which is one of the most quaint and quirky villages known in Alaska.